What's going on guys, Ryan with Jadam Joe back with another video. Today we're gonna go backwards in time and unbox a DC figure. Yeah, that's right. DC, Batman, Arkham Knight. Let's get to it. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video. Hope you guys are excited about this one. It's been a minute since I've actually done an unboxing review video type of thing because honestly Hot Toys isn't really releasing anything. So we went back in the vault and picked up Batman the Arkham Knight in preparation for hopefully sometime in the near future we actually get the Batman Beyond figure which we will definitely be unboxing and reviewing here on the channel the first release day one batches coming right here guys uh, so if you want to get early reviews early uh, looks at those figures definitely subscribe to the channel and uh, you should totally do that and also we got a giveaway going on right now so I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a little bit but let's take a look at Batman Arkham Knight you guys know I don't have a whole lot of DC figures but technically, this will be my third one that I've actually owned. Uh, I had the Justice League Batman, sold that one. I still have Nightmare Batman. And, you know, next week, I think we're getting the Snyder Cut for that. So that should be super exciting to see what all happens there. But we do have a video game. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the box and see what we got. You ready? Here we go. We've got Batman Arkham Knight video game masterpiece series 028 right there. And, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a normal box. This is an older figure. The box isn't, like, super pristine, but this is what it looked like if anybody was interested in this. This thing came out a good while back. But there we go. Arkham Knight right there. We've got... Oh, I'm about to drop it. we got this guy right here. I think this is going to be a super cool figure to pose and have some fun with. The box art's pretty nice. Like, check that out. That's pretty good. Uh, it did have this little magnetic flap. I have, obviously, already opened it. Uh, and uh, there we go. There is the Arkham Knight. There's all the whodunits for anybody who might be interested in that. And, uh, yeah, so there's the box. So... A box so let's get you out of here uh, i actually have the figure right here and i have been messing with this for just a minute um, but uh yeah see if i can't oh no hand fell off <laughs> i just took the time to put all the blue parts back on this figure because i had him set up actually when i got him he was already set up as red hood so essentially you can have two different figures uh out of this uh out of this uh release from hot toys but uh there we go Pretty, pretty good looking piece. Uh, I, I kind of, uh, I kind of dig it. Now, one of the cool things about this, obviously, you can have all these blue parts. You can actually change out to red if you want to change it into red hood. So that's pretty cool. But other than that, other than that, it just looks cool. I mean, if you're just going to go for the cool factor, it's just a cool looking piece uh, all over. It. It's, it's the armor is awesome. The 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 suit. The weapons, uh, everything you get, the amount of ridiculous amount of accessories. I can see why a lot of people really uh, kind of uh, flock to this figure and want to pick it up. And unfortunately, it's kind of pricey. It's kind of pricey right now on the secondary market, but uh, maybe maybe somebody will score a deal on one or whatever. But uh, this is actually a pretty cool piece. So let's go ahead, if you guys would like, let's take a closer look at this guy. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've got to change it back to Red Hood for this video. I really should have recorded that part first, but whatever let's look at this guy so here we go guys here is our batman arkham knight you can see the colors you can see the armor plates you can see all this red and camo uh, gray stuff going on here pretty cool piece uh the head actually lights up i found that on this particular one and maybe some other ones i don't know but i found that this comes off way too easily for my liking i mean it might not be bad you know depending on you know how easily you want to take it off but there's a light up function right there you can see the battery compartment and if i flip that switch right there it goes back on easily so that's not terrible um, but uh, it does have a light up function you can see right there and there's little slits right on there so it does look pretty cool and inevitably those are going to die so i'm going to flip that right back off who knows how long those batteries have been in there um, but it's not a um, it's not a magnet piece it kind of just pegs in uh, but you can see it right there it looks pretty it's pretty good very 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 futuristic very batman-esque right uh so you've got this uh nice cowl going on right there and like i said all these blue parts here like this arm right here you can change over to red there's an under piece right here it's just blue you can change that to red uh what else this whole um shoulder armor changes you actually slide that off you remove the hand remove this that changes out and then they have this little piece on the side of this thing so i can get there 
This little piece right here changes to red if you so uh, desire. So you got that. But look at all the armor and just, I mean, that's pretty freaking cool. That is a cool piece. Uh, the material is uh, unlike any other material I've really experienced. Uh, it's almost like a, it's not like pleather. It's like a durable fabric. It's just weird. I don't know. I kind of dig it though. I kind of dig it. I think it's pretty durable. And uh, I wouldn't mind seeing like a Spider-Man being used on that, that kind of material. Uh, but check out the red and gray and white camo. I think they did a really good job on that. I like how the uh, armor here is actually cut out for that shoulder. So you can get a lot of bend out of that shoulder. Uh, if you've got the armor. Oh, that hand fell off again. Look at that. That's a different hand though. Uh, this is me. Uh, just kind of messing with figures and this is what happens sometimes whenever you have figure that have these gauntlet armors sometimes the hands pop off just like stormtroopers uh, but it actually has a decent amount of movement there in the elbow and I could probably press that a little bit more it's actually not the body it's actually the armor hitting itself so it's kind of a thing there but check out the detail on that that uh, the armor there it is freaking I mean, it's just cool. It's very cool. So we do have some extra pieces down here. We got a nice little belt, uh, weapons belt. We've got, obviously, it's Batman. You can have a lot, a lot of weapons or whatever. Uh, comes down with these uh, grenade deal here. I don't know if they're smoke grenades or whatever. They were in the packaging, so now they're right here. That's where they go. Uh, we got some uh, ammo belts and gadgets and whatnot going on there. And then on the back, look, look, he didn't skip shoulder day or back day. He definitely did not skip those days. So, um, yeah, he, he's, he's, he's beefy. Uh, but very, very nicely done by Hot Toys. I mean, you see all the little paint apps, the, the metallics, the silvers, the blacks, everything, the scuffs going on right here. I mean, they did a really good job with this piece. And uh, I kind of dig it. I think for shelf presence, that's, that's the thing with it. It's the shelf presence. I think this thing is just super cool. Um, but he does have these other pieces down here on the knees. These actually you can change out to red as well if you want to put on the red hood deal. But just... Look at all these little gadgets and I mean the armor is crazy cool. I could totally see why people would want this figure in their collection. I can't wait to do some photos of it, have some fun with it. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to display it yet. We're going to hold on to this one for just a little bit. Uh, I don't plan on, you know, getting rid of it anytime soon. But this is, um, of course, who the heck knows? I don't really, who knows? The collection changes all the freaking time. There ain't no telling. Um, but I think it'd be pretty cool. I got him right here. I think it'd be pretty cool to like compare him to the Batman Beyond figure. Um, and as far as posability, I'm expecting the Batman Beyond figure to be not very posable. I don't really know, but we're going to see about that. Uh, he does have a whole pile of accessories, so let's just go ahead and uh, get those out here. We'll put you right there for a second, guys. Uh, we do have so much stuff. Oh, my goodness. Look, watch this. I'm just going to slide all of this over here. So much stuff. I'm not even going to... Look, just... This is me. And everybody's going, Ah, I can't believe you did that. Well, yeah, I did. It's okay. <laughs> we, do have a, uh, we do have a base right here. It says Batman Arkham Knight right there pretty nice base just normal crotch grabber nothing really fancy it doesn't light up or anything uh we do have some weapons let's see, get those guys out of here so we get a like a long rifle I, I i you know i have not played the game so you know you guys can school me on what all this is but clearly this is not an actual rifle this is a video game render of something um but it's pretty cool it's pretty cool we get a nice uh, little dual pistols so those are nicely done Reminds me of the Hellboy pistols. These, I mean, these are, they're giant. These things are very cool. So you get two of those, and then you get this smaller one, which, I mean, if I had the other ones, I don't know that I'll break out this one. So I don't know. It's kind of one of those. You get those, but the coolest part about all of this thing is you get all these red pieces. You can change this thing out to Red Hood. Uh, and I think it's a, a pretty cool feature to have. Uh, we saw with. Uh, the upcoming uh, Boba Fett Deluxe release, we actually get two figures with that, and it's uh, it's going to have a whole lot of stuff you can ch interchange pieces. This one, they could have absolutely made two different figures out of this, but they didn't. They didn't. They they could have. That could have been a money grab. Could have been that, uh, but they decided to give us one figure, and you can change out all the armor, which is kind of cool. It's not the easiest armor to change. Got to be 100 silence with you because I actually changed it from Red Hood to the Batman Arkham Knight prior to recording this, and it took me a minute. So I'm not really looking forward to putting this back on to film the rest of this video, but uh, we shall see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, we get all these. This is our uh, little shoulder armor. 
I'm sorry, shoulder, uh, elbow, elbow armor. It changes this from red right there. It's pretty cool. And all these little bits, like you can take this piece right here. Pretty sure this goes just like this. You can put this as the chest piece, chest armor right there. So all of these are painted very well. Every single piece. These are for the um, behind the shoulders. So you actually pop the shoulder off. It's on a ball joint. Pop that off. This goes underneath there. You put it back on the ball joint. Uh, you've got, I mean, knee armor. you got forearm armors. you got this ridiculously cool helmet mask. Look at all the printing going on, the detail. This is a cool piece. This does not light up. All right, so we'll be mindful of that. It, it doesn't light up. It's just a ball joint. But that right there, that's probably how I'm going to end up displaying mine. As much as I like the, the Arkham Knight version with all the blue, the red just pops off the shelf. And it might be different. I might have, it might have been different if all these red sections were blue, then this might work a little better. But since they're all red, putting the, the red hood stuff on there, I think pops a little better on the shelf. So, I mean, you guys can let me know about that. We do get a pile of hands. We got two fisted hands, which are actually on the figure. We get uh, kind of a, uh, I guess a, gra a pistol hand of some kind, a rifle hand. Yeah, something like that. Uh, of that, nice little silver paint apps going on there. And, you know, here's the thing. This figure is three, four years old, whatever it is, right? This isn't something everybody's gonna go get. Uh, it's pricey. I wanna say it's in that four to $500 price range. If you can find a better deal, then go for it. Uh, it's pretty cool. But I, what I wanna do for this, rather than spending time on all the stuff, okay? Cause you can look at photos on stuff. Let's get some poses. Let's shoot some, uh, some video of this thing. And let's see what it'll do. So let's do it. All right, fast forward. Uh, I'm actually recording this section later in the day, but this guy in this setup as Red Hood, just badass. I mean, I totally, I mean, look, I totally understand why somebody would want this figure in their collection. Um, totally get it, totally get it. Uh, it it's not without its issues. Uh, the hands don't like to stay on because of the gauntlet, so there's that. Um, the switching out of the parts, uh, on some of the parts, the uh, the shin guard, the shin armor, and the uh, forearm uh, gauntlets, that's kind of a pain in the butt to deal with as well. Um, Magnus would have been a way better choice uh, for those options, or uh, yeah, Magnus would have been would have been the way to go. Um, there, I mean, just the ability to switch out is next level awesome. Um, but I would love to hear from you guys, which way would you display it? Would you display yours as uh, the Arkham Knight? Would you display it as uh, Red Hood? How would you display it? For me, I'd be Red Hood all day long. It just looks awesome. And I don't have like a red figure. I don't have a lot of red figures. Uh, Deadpool, I mean, it's the only other one I can think of other than Iron Man, obviously, a lot of Iron Man. And then Spider-Man. Well, hell, maybe I do. Maybe I do have a lot of red figures. But I don't have one like this. Now, the broad shoulders are awesome. The armor, play, it's just it's just a cool figure. Uh, so glad to add it to the collection. Uh, super excited to have it here. And uh, we'll see what happens when the Batman Beyond actually shows up. Uh, so if I had to give a recommendation whether or not somebody should pick this one up, yeah, that's that's a yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's a few years old. It's uh, definitely not a brand new figure, but I don't know what else other than the magnetic uh, attachments versus the pegs. That's really the only thing I would change. Uh, posability doesn't really seem to be too crazy, although. I didn't push it super intense to super dynamic in this video, uh, but I have spent some time with the, the double jointed knees, double jointed arms. I mean, there's really no issues with that. Um, but I think this is a character, this is a figure that just looks awesome like this. Like there's really not a whole lot you need to do with it. I, I you know, it's not it's not anything crazy. So I'm super excited to add the collection. Like I said, guys, as always, wait, wait, wait.
if you missed the last episode of Six Skill News, we are giving away a Hot Toys Commander Cody right here on the channel. I'll put a link in the description below for a Gleam contest. Uh, it is limited to United States. This particular one, we do all kinds of other giveaways worldwide. This one is for United States. Uh, go check out that episode, Six Skill News. I'll put it right up there. We do have some news coming up this week, so uh, stay tuned for that. And I do have Hot Toys Gamora from Guardians Galaxy Volume 2. Uh, that video should be out any day. We'll get that knocked out of here. Uh, but I'm super excited about that. And the, the wall in the room is continuing to be changed uh this is this temporary i've got something crazy planned for this you guys are not gonna believe it uh, until you actually see it i i couldn't you wouldn't believe me if i told you um but uh, i i'm excited to see that happen so guys subscribe if you haven't already hit thumbs up let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below about this guy right here and let me know if you think you might want to pick him up as always collect what you like see you next time